We needed in Portfolios of the Poor to really come together and change how we think about the poor and how they use money. For example, they don't just need credit, they also need savings instruments and insurance. It's a tremendous relief to actually bump up against a business binding constraint. Because otherwise, frankly, all you do is talk about how we should listen more to the poor, or we just simply describe the financial lives of the poor. When you actually go to put these findings into work, one of the things that we've learned at BFA is that it's far easier to envision how clients are going to react to some sort of binding constraint to solve an actual problem that the business is facing. That's where we really get results.